music has been my main passion in life. Like ever since I was 11, I've been writing raps and performing. You know, I've been lucky to do a fair amount with it. I've toured the country a fair, you know, a few times. I've been able to make music videos, make a lot of music. And for me, what it gave me was a lot of the things that I felt like I didn't have. It gave me a community. It gave me a sense of identity. And, you know, as I started getting into my professional career, I was working with youth in foster care and just kind of sharing my passion for music, you know, showing up with Fruity Loops and being like, here's how you make a beat. Here's how you put together a rap. And what I found was a lot of the youth I was working with were using this as a way to kind of process what they were going through at the time. And so over the years, it built and became a bigger and bigger thing. And then about five years ago, it had built to the point where we were ready to become a nonprofit. And I was able to quit the foster care job. And I've been doing this just full time since. Done this a lot of years now. And so it's been cool that, you know, some of the original youth that we're working with have run with it and done a lot more. I think um, one of our big success stories is Barnes Boulevard. So he was a producer who worked with us kind of in the early parts of the bridge or the earlier-ish parts of it. And he ended up becoming a big lo-fi producer. So he got on kind of the ground floor of lo-fi and still has like 800,000 monthly Spotify listeners or you know, if not that, like a significant amount. So that's been cool to just see all of his success. And then we have other artists that we've worked with for a long time who are active. Uh, Shady B's one who's still very active doing her thing. So it's just been cool to see everyone's progress over the years.